Hi guys, how are you? While wow, making soap with lye, sorry about that. I am your messy soap maker, Nicole, with Natural Desires Soap Company. We make all natural vitamin packed um, spa products here in Jacksonville, Florida. Today I'm making our rose and aloe soap. This is by far one of our most popular soaps. It's been on our website about three years now and it is definitely a fan favorite. Um, it's my personal favorite as well and I don't know if that's why it's a fan favorite because I usually tell people that it's my personal favorite. The lather is really, really, really incredible because because it's made with aloe vera and rose tea. Um, the aloe vera and the rose tea just creates such a gorgeous, smooth, um, just beneficial lather. It feels so good. It's also really, really, really nice in place of your shaving cream. So if you use shaving cream that, you know, can be filled with chemicals and junks and stuff that, you know, your body doesn't love. Hello from India. I love that so much. Hi, how are you? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, so what was I saying? We're making rose and aloe soap. Roses are known to be beneficial for rosacea. I do not make any like medical claims on here, but if you've ever searched about having any kind of redness or rosacea or redness on your cheeks or just red bumps, roses are usually the key. They say a lot about roses um, if you search that. So this soap is completely rosed out. It is rose and aloe. It is made with rose... I'm actually just gonna pick up my paper here because I don't have my whole book over here today. So it is made with rose tea, aloe vera, but then it also has rose clay and then it's got rose essential oil, rose geranium essential oil, and then the olive oil and the sunflower oil in this soap is made with, um, is infused with roses for about three months before I make the soap. And that's also why our oils may look a little bit darker to you because this is this uh, the olive oil and the sunflower oil were infused with rose petals, okay? And so that just really, 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 really makes it super, super rosy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not sure why Instagram is like bright and then dark and then bright and the dark. I'm pretty sure my light is good. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So we have, this is our rose and aloe soap. I'm going to let you know all the ingredients. In this bowl right here, we have castor bean oil, coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter, and sunflower oil. Uh, and again, the sunflower and the olive oil are, are rose infused. Man, I am not speaking very well today. I just need some more coffee or something. Uh, rose infused and then we do make it with lye however within about three days the lye is not present in the bar and it still sits on our shelf and cures for four to six weeks before I send it to you uh, that way the bar is nice and hard and gonna last you a very long time in the shower um, and then it is made with rose geranium essential oil and bargamot essential oil rose clay and a teeny bit of Brazilian red clay as well okay and this is a, a recipe that's been tweaked a little bit, and that's why I'm making a very, very, very small batch today. I'm making only six pounds today, and that is only um, 20 soaps. Okay. And in here, I already have kaolin clay, rose, rose geranium essential oil, bergamot essential oil, coconut oil, castor bean oil, olive oil, shea butter, and sunflower oil already have that in this bowl right right here. So that is already prepared. Over here is our rose tea, lye, and aloe vera. That's why it's darker. A lot of the times when you see me pouring milk, it's more of a light yellow creamy color. When you see me pouring water or aloe, it's white. Hi, Shop, Shop Joyful, <laughs> Lauren. I'm glad you joined. Um, so we're making the rose and aloe today. We're making six pounds of the rose and aloe today. Um, so this is a little bit darker than what you usually see me pour because this is the rose tea and aloe vera and lye, okay? This is my solution. And I'm gonna slowly pour that and you'll have to, you'll have to um, just pardon me for looking down and, and maybe not reading your comments for this whole, for this little, this little bit, but I'm going to pour the aloe and the rose and the lye into our pure plant oils and our rose geranium and bergamot essential oil and clay. 
And after I do that, I'm going to start stick blending. This is very, very important that I do not splash myself with a lie, and it's very important that I pay attention. Uh, again, I'm working on a recipe. I have a couple of tweaks to make this soap a little bit harder, a little bit faster, so I can get it to you guys faster and just be a little bit more sustainable. And so with that being said, this is gonna move faster, okay? As I start to, as I put my, my rose, aloe, and my lye into my pure plant oils, it's going to start changing a bit faster. So the really magical, beautiful saponification that starts, you're gonna see happen a little bit faster, okay? But I also just have to focus on it. <laughs> Hi, Helena. Hi, people, how are you guys? Let me know where you're in from. I know I got hello from India on um, Facebook. Thank you so much for joining. I think that's so cool that we can combine uh, or that we can connect from all over the world in one place in real time. That's so incredible for me to me. Hi guys, let me know where you're from. All right, I'm gonna pour this in. I'm gonna focus. So just give me one second. It's funny how dark the rose tea actually gets. You wouldn't think it would. So I make my rose tea and then I freeze it in ice cubes. That way my lye doesn't get too hot. And then the same with my aloe vera. I have like big gallon bags of um, aloe vera and rose tea and goat milk and coconut milk and all the things in the freezer, distilled water. Okay, I'm trying to get that a little bit more. And so this soap is just two colors. The top is mostly just this, just the natural soap color, and then the bottom has a little bit of Brazilian clay, teeny bit of Brazilian clay, and mostly red, I mean mostly rose clay, okay? So I'm gonna separate that out in a bit. I actually already have my Brazilian red and my rose clay already in here. It was a little bit of olive oil. That way, when I decide to separate this into there, I, I'm going to um, already have my color ready and available. And because I made a couple tweaks to this recipe to make it harder, so cool to watch, thank you. Because I made a couple tweaks to this recipe to make it a little bit harder, faster, um, I do have extra rose clay on hand over here. So I may need to add a little bit more, but I'm not sure yet, so we're gonna see. Okay. Hi. Hi Delaney, how are you? Thank you guys so much for joining on Facebook. There's a lot of you on Facebook today. Alicia is watching. Thank you, Alicia. Hi, how are you? Kansas, that's so beautiful. I love that. I know, I love my IG family on Instagram. I have such a bigger, like I have a really, um, a bigger following, which I'm so, so grateful for. But for some reason, a lot more people connect and watch these videos, especially the IGTVs later and later on Facebook. So um, I just appreciate both of you guys. Um, Romy, Algeria. Wow, that's amazing. That's so cool. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to focus for one second. Okay. And if you watch, this is when all the saponification happens. Okay. So this is when the fatty acids separate from the triglycerides that are in our pure plant oils and they infuse with the hydroxide ions. And that's what's, and then that's, that's changing into soap. The hydroxide ions are changing the um, fatty acids into soap. And then the extras in there are uh, my super fat and they're in there just to nourish your skin, just to feel creamy, just to feel moisturizing, just to keep all the extra glycerin that develops on your skin. So that, hi, how are you? Um, all the extra glycerin on your skin so it's good for your skin and so you don't get dry, okay? All right, so let me focus for one second. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate all the love. Thank you. Okay, one second. Oh, this is the part where you may have to turn down your volume a little bit if this blender is a little bit too, um, if this blender is a little bit too loud for you, okay? <laughs> good I hope it lightens up I tweaked this recipe a little bit but it looks like it's so dark today I don't know 
Hi, my wife loves you so. Oh, thank you so much, Bishop Mark Jones. I appreciate it. I'm so happy she loves it. We're making rose and aloe, which is by far our most popular um, right right now on live. Okay, so that's getting thick fast. Whoo, that's getting thick really fast. So again, I said I'm working on a recipe to make it a little bit harder. I don't want this to get too thick. So I need to separate it into our clay. This is our Brazilian red. I'm gonna move this over where you can see. This is our Brazilian red and our rose clay that I'm blending here. And then I also wanna keep an eye on keeping this nice and fluent. Okay. Working a little bit faster than usual, that's all right. So I may have to tweak this to make it, obviously if I'm making a bigger recipe, I'm not gonna be able to work this fast. So I may have to tweak it. Hi, I love spending lunch breaks with you. I appreciate that, that is so sweet. I love that you spend your lunch breaks with me. You can choose to spend your lunch breaks anywhere in the world. So I feel so privileged is that privilege that you choose to spend your lunch breaks with me. All right, that's getting really nice and thick. I just wanna make sure we get it in the mold. Very important. You see how dark it is? I think it's gonna lighten up, but it's a lot darker than usual. And because it's gonna pour a little bit clumpy, I'm gonna put my spatula there and kind of separate it. You see that? Oh, it's heavy, okay. Perfect, okay, it looks so good. If you watched some of my previous videos, I'm sure you see how this is moving a lot faster than usual. Call myself the messy soap maker for a reason. Tell your mom and Joe I said hello. I will, absolutely so excited I get to watch you today. Thank you. I know, you are such a sweetheart. You're always on all my lives. I really, really appreciate all the support, you guys. You have no idea um, how much this, the algorithm and stuff with Instagram, like how it works. You have no idea if you just tune in to even just a couple minutes of someone's live. Um, Stagecoach sauces. Oh, you were too sensitive that you enjoyed spending time with me. Thank you, Karina, I love you. Um, so anyways, um, you have no idea if you just tune into someone's live for five minutes, if you click like, if you comment, if you share, even if you just comment some emojis and things like that, it truly, truly helps a small business grow because the Instagram alg algorithm goes, oh, people like this. Like, oh, people like beautiful, it looks like cake dough. I know it does, it looks like cake and brownies. So Facebook and Instagram goes, oh, people wanna watch this, people like this when you're commenting and you're interacting and, um, and you're watching or you're sharing or any any of the things, they see that people like it. When they see that people like it, they actually push it to other other accounts, like more organically so that people can see it on their news feed. And I just, it really, really helps any small company that you guys love, absolutely just try to do that for them. Like if you read a post and you enjoy it, don't for click, forget to click that like button and maybe even leave a comment because it really, really does a lot for their social media presence. And you know, I'm a very small company here in Jacksonville, Florida. And I just, you guys are so, 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 so amazing. I appreciate you so much. Okay, I'm gonna bang these down, which is something I don't always do, but because it's got thick, I don't want it to have any air bubbles. So just maybe turn down the volume just a teeny. I'm sorry if it's loud. Okay. That looks so good. This rose and owl is going to be so nice. Okay. Love, love, love this one. Oh, no. I got someone calling, which is so weird, on Instagram. Okay. 
All right, I got you back. Okay, I had someone calling on Instagram on this phone uh, while I'm on Instagram Live, so I had to decline it so I can get back to you guys. I'm sorry if it glitched. Um, so this is more rose clay soap, and there's a little bit more than I usually have. I don't know why I should have scraped a little bit more on the bottom layer, but it's still gonna turn out beautiful, and that's the best thing about getting a homemade soap is that it's always gonna be different and gorgeous. Thanks for the custom soaps for my bridal shower. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm so happy you love them. Hey, my Fudley Messy Soap Maker. Hi. How are you guys? You guys are so sweet. I appreciate you tuning in. I really, really do. Okay, so there's a little bit more rose clay, actually significant amount more rose clay than usual on top this time, but that's okay. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks so good today. Okay. It got harder than usual, which I expected with the new, the tweaks that I've added to this recipe. If you have a rosacea, redness, or struggle with any um, super dry skin, this is definitely a soap to check out, especially if you, um, get really bad razor burn, you can use this soap in place of your shaving cream. And it is very helpful to use the soap in place of your shaving cream. It's really, really nice and creamy. You're gonna be using something natural instead of a shaving cream that sometimes is filled with junk. Most of the time it's filled with junk, especially if you are using anything out of like a spray can that has that foaming to it. They literally have to add so many surfactants and chemicals just to make it spray out of that spray can. So if you are struggling with um, redness and with your shaving and your and um, shaving bumps and razor burn, definitely look into something more natural and more creamy to put in between there that's gonna help with redness. Anything with roses is gonna help with redness. And again, I said the soap is made with rose infused olive oil and sunflower oil, rose clay, rose geranium essential oil, and, um, and rose tea. So, so much rose, so much rose. Oh no, Instagram. Instagram again. I'm about to, I think I'm just gonna leave this glove off. Oh, Instagram again. It had to notify me that my battery was getting low, even though I just charged it. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this glove off because I keep having to push this button for Instagram. Um, so yeah, guys, if you think that this might be beneficial, if you struggle with any of the things that we just discussed, definitely check it out. And I appreciate your support. Just, I just thank you so much for even just being on here today. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Um, we will be at the local wars, um, the local wares, I'm sorry, um, arts market this weekend. So Saturday between, I believe in nine and three, we will be at the arts market with all of our soaps, plenty of rose and aloe. I'm just trying to make sure I keep it in stock, but it's in stock and it's doing well now. Plenty on the shelf over there. All right. Thank you guys. Do you want to see a little bit closer? Here we go. So normally there's just a little bit of rose clay on top, but this one had extra rose clay in this bowl here, which is, I think, I didn't put enough in the bottom layer, but I also think that I've added a little bit of tweaks and there was a little bit more soap than I expected. But it's still gorgeous, love it, thank you so much. So this one's gonna have like a rose clay layer on the bottom, and then it's gonna be natural soap color in the middle. And then you guys wanna see how creamy it is up close. Wanna see? Look, like, it's just thick pudding. It's so creamy. You see that? <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. I have to be careful holding soap so close to my face. I'm dangerous over here. All right. I thank you guys. I thank you so much for being here and connecting with me today. Uh, you can check out the soap at naturaldesires.com. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. I think I can reach. I'm gonna push these a little bit farther over. And I think I can reach to say goodbye and I don't have to walk around the table. That's so frustrating. 
Bye. Bye, Instagram. Thank you guys so much for joining. I love you so much. I appreciate everything you do and all your support. It's in likes and comments. It means so much to me, guys. Thank you. I just ordered that blender. Yes. This blender is incredible. You're going to love it. Bye. Bye, Facebook. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, for joining and Jessica and Alicia. And there were a few others on there that I didn't get to see, but I appreciate you being here with me today. Push a like button, push a share button. I appreciate you spreading the word. It means so much to me. And I just love you guys. I appreciate your support. It's amazing. It's amazing, amazing how you've helped me grow my small business. Bye, guys.